welcome to the shadows guys my name is phantom and today we are jumping back into mafia 2 and picking up right where we left off last time handling dock workers and getting them to pay up um last time we met mr Fadal Auto, uh as well as finished taking the car um he had us throw crates we didn't like it oh all the crates are now automatically loaded okay um <laughs> we talked to him he gave us some other work um essentially i have to talk to dock workers I'm here to collect the fee for the to collect money what kind of game you're playing here the kind where you pay what you owe when you don't get hurt oh you got a problem with that i got a problem with you now get out of here before i kick your ass yeah. oh push him around and make him pay oh, okay we are just immediately jumping into this oh combo that's quick now get up. Fucking money. Yeah. Thank you. I decided to reconsider. <laughs> Are we gonna have to do this to every single guy? Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Yep. You're welcome. Thank you for paying. Hey. Derek needs you to pay the fee. I love how the barber. first guy with immediately beat up. Sure. Here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. Oh. Oh, this guy doesn't look like he's gonna pay. He don't even have a hat. Hey, pal. And he's smoking on the job. Easy to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Yep. I was gonna say, he don't look like he was gonna pay. He's just chilling and smoking on the job. can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Everybody just wants to fight. Oh. Just combo in his face. That'll do it. <laughs> Boom. Anybody okay. else? Anybody else? Got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Jeez, oh, Pete, Svito. Take the cash back to Derek. <laughs> okay. Now that I had to put him in line. <laughs> Jeez, oh, Pete. <laughs> Now that we're just beating the heck out of people. All right, here, Derek. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. He's gonna poke it out with a fork because he's still eating his steak. Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked. <laughs> I should throw your buddy under right, the bus Steve. straight away. Uh, right, Derek. I feel like he hates working. For sorting him out. Oh, nice. nice. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Hey, say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Can do. Yeah, will do. She'll be I'll happy to hear that he's got a job. That's hey, Vito, legitimate. I almost forgot. Joe yeah. called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. Okay. Well, we're gonna drive to Freddy's then. We got a hundred bucks out of that. Fifty bucks for dealing with him and fifty bucks. Oh, jeez, oh, paints. That goes to my car fixings that I needed to fix. All right, let's go. Oh, I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Back the way I came. Why is it? Here we go. Here's the bar. That's my crappy park job, but that's fine. All right, where's Joe? Uh, Joe? Joe might be upstairs. Yeah, he's upstairs. Okay. What up, Joe? We got ourselves some more work, buddy. Came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? I don't. Yeah, why? Who are they? We're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something. That's a fancy name, Tomasino. I like that. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. Okay. Real shuttle. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hi, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen, I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. Okay. I want the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get him? 
in the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you. No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the So safe we gotta break into a federal reserve, essentially. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I say you. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So, what do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. yeah I guess hey, let's do it. Take a piece with you. You never know what's going to happen. Better to be safe than I think I've already got a gun with me. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back in and we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. luck, Vito. How am I going to do this clean when I'm breaking into a federal reserve? And then you're going to give me 200 if I kill anybody. Okay. This is going to be a challenge and a half. Just saying. Up here. Where is our place? How do I get in? Around the back? Okay, it looks like it's back here. Check the door signs to find Maria's apartment. Oh, right there. Buddy, y'all. We need to speak to you. Can I help you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. He said he might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Price Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're going to be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. All right, let's do it. Got Maria off at the house. We're going to Uptown. All right, Maria, let's go. Into my Jefferson. That's a little bit damaged, but that's all right. Do I gotta come over there and pick her up? Okay, she's coming. Come on, Maria. Oh, you just teleported into the car. Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, all right? I see. Kid, drop me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you. Nice meeting you. Goodbye. I guess I don't need my limiter anymore. Oh, it's right there. Oh, I took a wrong turn. Excuse me. We're going to do a semi U turn. Right down here. Do not enter. Well, looks like I'm entering. But I can't kill anybody. Spare space to climb over obstacles. This fence does not look sturdy at all. Okay, well, the basement window. Oh, best see to crouch and move stealthily. I guess this is the basement window that she mentioned. That takes us into the bathroom. <sighs> Stay hidden, there are guards around. And I have to get upstairs. You can disable the guards while pressing left to click behind them. Raspberries. I'm gonna go make the rounds. Good riddance to you. Okay.
Okay, now where do I need to go? Okay. How can they see? Okay. This is the director's office. This is where the key should be. All right, here's the key. Now I got to get to the safe. I was blind to even not be able to figure that out. Now where's the safe? It's in here. Uh, move the pen. There we go. We're in. Open safe. Hopefully there's not an alarm on this sucker. Because that would suck. Take anything else out of there? Are you kidding me? And now the alarm's going off. Great. parked out there so I guess I'm gonna have to run out the side building to get out of here return to Freddy's bar they don't know that I'm the one who did it right I don't think they do yeah no they don't have a clue I just didn't go out the front door. Okay, we're back to Freddy's bar we go. That was a pretty clean stand-up job. I just took too long trying to figure out where I was supposed to go. Here's Freddy's bar right here. It ain't even that far. Oh, that's a nice break. And then we'll park right here. There we go. Alright, Henry, we've done it. Nobody died. Give me my six hundred dollars. As you guys are munching away. Uh, things got out of hand. There was nothing I could do about it. We had an agreement. Remember? You only get a third in a month. There wasn't any shooting. shooting. Uh, let's see what we got here. There wasn't any shooting. I didn't shoot anybody. Ah, oh, shit. Something wrong? You bet your ass there's something wrong. These stamps you took have an expiration date. And that date is tomorrow. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? It means they're gonna be fucking worthless. But wait. If you can get them to the gas station attendants by midnight, they'll be able to stamp them and redeem them. You better bring them to every gas station in town. They gotta get there by midnight or we're screwed. If you don't sell them in time, you get nothing. Wait a minute, that wasn't our deal. You didn't say anything about any expiration dates. Well, shit happens, doesn't it? Look, you pull this off, I won't forget it. Trust mm. me, I get going. The faster you unload them, the more money you get. Lovely. Okay, well, we're going to leave it there for today, everybody. Next time we will jump back into this and we'll be, I guess, going on a rampage of selling these stamps now because good old Henry didn't tell us anything about expiration dates like a rude man. Um... So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. And until next time, guys, have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.